morning. I um, I'm still really tired. You can see me puffy. <laughs> I just woke up, got ready, and I'm gonna take the canoe out today. So um, I'm gonna be bringing. This is my dog walking bag. It just loops over one shoulder. I'm gonna. It's mostly a first aid kit. So I've got. Um, these are blood clotters. It's like one pill to 20 kilos or something. Um, you know, just in case the worst. Um, some hay fever pills in case the dogs get bitten by a bee. I've only got two left, but you know. Worst case scenario, if um, Marley's going to come with me. But if he gets bitten by a bee, at least I will know that he won't go into anaphylactic shock or anything dumb. I've got my little fire starter and some paracord. Um, I usually have one of these with me all the time. It's one in my car as well. Um, I've got, I should probably take this out while I'm doing it. I've got my little, it's doggy mace because we live in Australia and we're not allowed to have pepper spray apparently. So um, that, that would be good. I've got some bandages in case I need to do like a snake bite wrap. They're quite um, stretchy so they will compact really well. I've got some alcohol swabs. Too many alcohol swabs. More alcohol swabs. More bandages. <laughs> um, and I've got an emergency thermal blanket. So um, that is good. The front, I think it's just um, I think it's just some poop bags. So when Molly goes to the toilet, I can be a responsible pet owner and pick it up and some treats which have been in there for way too long so um yeah yeah that's everything so that bag is just gonna go into this bag because I don't want to unpack all that and then never pack it all back up again the next time I want to go for a walk it's gonna be shit so I'm gonna be popping my phone in this pocket and then my jumper underneath and then the first aid kit on top um, I'll be grabbing some water and maybe something for lunch. I don't know. I don't usually eat through the day, so um, I'm not too concerned about lunch. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm going to get this canoe out and we're going to head down to the water. Okay, it took me forever, but I'm finally packed and ready to go. I've got my bag, I've got water, I grabbed some food. I made a sandwich um, for the trip. I've done a bit of a, not really a video, but like a picture run of the steps I made to make said sandwich. Um, it'll be in my bok choy, not bok choy, um, <coughs> my broccoli video. So I've got Molly all ready to go. And I've got the canoe. So what I've done here is I've put a belt on it and I'm going to put that over my shoulder. I will show. So I've got kayak. I'm grabbing that bit and then just lifting it up. It's really hard to do one handed. And up on my shoulder. So now, hands free. And I can carry this and massive kayak. Well, um, I'm gonna start walking along and I'll um, post up when I get to the, sh the river. <sighs> so taking a quick drink break. <laughs> Molly doesn't want to drink apparently. He got a bendy so I was like uh, we might as well stop. <laughs> Didn't you Molly? Well we're getting there. I'm about halfway there. <laughs> Ooh. It's, it's getting easier though. I found a good way of holding the canoe so it doesn't kill my shoulder and um yeah we're getting there. So um we'll just enjoy the shade for a little bit and then start going again. <laughs> Oh, 
getting there. So I'm just sort of holding it in my hand and then leaning it on my shoulder. It um takes a bit of the weight off the shoulder. <laughs> so far, it's okay. I haven't had to switch sides yet, so that's good. I know when I'm struggling because I have to switch sides when I'm struggling. <laughs> but um, I put the water on this side to counter the weight a little bit. So it's quite heavy. But Marley's having fun. He's quite enjoying the walk. So, I'm almost all the way there and I realised I forgot the fucking paddle. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I was thinking I can go back and get it or make a paddle out of a branch. Ugh, I'm so annoying. <laughs> Oh, so bad. I'm gonna turn around. Oh my god, this sucks. It's so fucking hot. I decided to drag it for a little bit. I was carrying it because I didn't want to fuck the wheel on the back of it. But right now, I don't care. <laughs> I think it can deal for a little bit. And um, I'm gonna go home get the fucking paddle <laughs> and then go back again so, this has been excellent finally <laughs> near the water oh this has been a drama and a half the wheel broke because I was dragging it on the cement for too long my hands hurt my shoulder hurts <sighs> But we're almost at the water, so yay! <laughs> that only took me like an hour. So yeah, I'm gonna drag this into the water after I chill out for a little bit because it's fucking hot. And um finally start our little canoe trip. Marley's first time on a canoe. I'm interested to see how this goes. Okay, so far so good. We've made it out of the dock and Marley doesn't look like he's going to jump out of the canoe. <laughs> so... I've already been upstream before, so I'm gonna go that way and I'm hoping it takes us out to the main river. Fish are fucking monster big. I am coming back at the fishing line. Like they're so fucking massive, they actually kind of make me uncomfortable. Oh my god. Can't see any now. You can see they're rippling up all the water. I wonder what they are. They're probably fucking carp or something. They were like legit almost the size of Marley. That was so cool. Just under that tree that it's hanging over. Oh, there's one. Oh, yes, you can see it. See if I can get a bit closer.
I think I got that one on camera. They're so huge. That's all my fight asking about. I think my leg is just laying down now. Which is good. I'm glad it's comfortable. I was um, worried he'd be a bit nervous. But he seems really happy. We're just kind of drifting along at the moment. Because my arms are sore from paddling. And um, yeah. We're just cruising along in the tide. Those fish were fucking huge. I cannot get over that. I am coming back. There's a fishing rod and and or a reel or something. Oh my god, I wish I brought some. Hey, Molly. Yeah. Next time I'll bring you something to sit on. Okay. So there's the opening of the creek that goes onto the main river. Um, I had some person on a boat come past and warn me that it was super windy out there. And as you can see, that water is super, super choppy. So, um, I'm not really sure. I might hug the riverbank for a little bit. And, um, and if it gets too much, I'll turn around. Because, um, I don't really want to deal with heaps of wind and I don't really know if it's going to get crazy or not. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Really should have brought a fucking fishing gear. The fish are huge. And I'm hoping they are carp. Like, I don't, because obviously that sucks, but, um, being a pest species, I don't feel bad when I catch them. And um, I'd love to cook it up in a way to show people that um, it doesn't matter what the fish itself tastes like, because some people reckon it's muddy. Um, it's all about how you cook it. You I mean, you can make anything taste like anything if you add enough seasonings and stuff. So, you know, and we do that anyway. Like I know I personally drown my food in sauce and salt and shit so um by the time you're done doing all of that um it kind of tastes like you know the shit that you've added to it so why does it matter if it doesn't taste that great to start with does it make sense so um yeah i'm gonna head that way oh the water looks really nasty I'm gonna hug the shoreline pretty tight. Or maybe not. <laughs> the wind is actually making it impossible to do anything. I can't even like go in that direction. Like it's just like, nope. Unless I paddle at like four kilometers an hour or something fucking stupid. So I'm gonna dawdle back river and um, look at some fish, go. Okay. Back to the safety of the river. The difference is astounding. Just, you can see the actual, like, line where the water changes. Oh, look, a dragonfly. Sorry, Molly. Me recording in the boat just decided to just beach itself. Which is okay. Molly seems pretty comfy. Started to pull up here. I'm getting a headache and um, I want a drink and some food. So we're gonna go for a trek up there and find somewhere nice to sit. But first I'm gonna hook this up somewhere where it's not gonna drop, like drift away. Whew. Finally got up. Molly's deciding to wander down that way so we might go have lunch down there. Found a random hole. It's too small to be a wombat. I'm wondering if it's a rabbit. Or if it's just a crack from a landslide starting. <laughs> oh, he's loving it. Yeah. I don't want to go too far from the canoe, so it's just tied to a root down there. It's quite 
quite nice. This is a happy dog. He is such a good boy. Hi, Molly. Hi, Molly. Oh, you're such a good boy. I'm gonna sit over there, hey? He's such a good boy. He got up at that cliff all on his own. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> oh, you're such a good boy. You love in the grass. Yeah. <laughs> You're such a cutie. It's another boat in the river. I wonder if they've seen me. Look. Possibly wombat. I wonder. It is a lot bigger than the other one. Yeah, I'm thinking one that. That's actually really cool. You can see the transition in the water better from up here. It's really intense. The little dude in the thing. <laughs> Oh my god, it's having so much fun. I wish Blue was here. Well, he's basically in the spot where I want to sit. So I'm going to go over to him. That walk here has absolutely killed my feet and arms and hands and everything. It's so sore now. Honestly, the worst. Sandwich for me? You know about a sandwich for Molly. It's such a big, beautiful tree. <laughs> you like the water? Yeah. Look at back onto the water. Hey Molly. Get back onto the water. I oh know, this is definitely going to be a regular spot for us, isn't it? I think he's enjoying it more than I am.
Marla's sitting a lot closer this time. <laughs> I don't think he knows what to do. I really like that spot. Definitely gonna sit there more. It's been good. Marla. Molly's not appreciating the random stops. Oh yeah, Molly. Those go so deep. I wonder. So I'm back into big fish territory. Let's see if I can spot some. More importantly, let's see if I can spot some that the camera can see. Because I can see them fine. I'm starting to get really good at doing all this one-handed stuff. Oh look, a little water dragon. So many of them around here. Okay, that one is definitely the size of Marley. God, fucking massive. Fish jump. I wonder if I got that. That's such an awesome spot.
I'll also just drop some bait in right here and see if they come up. Oh, look at this one. I wonder if you can see him. Run under the boat. How cool is that? There we go. There it is, it's right behind me. Turn this back again. Stalk in the boat. The boat. Something I can eat. Well, that was cool. I was destined to not leave until I got a shot of one of the fish that um, that everyone else gets to view and see and be like, oh my gosh, that's pretty. So I um, finally got one that would um, show up in the camera. So now that I've done that, <laughs> I'm going to go for a wander upstream some. There's some more. I wonder if you can see them on the camera. They're just like little shadows that just vanish. It's really cool. Fish, Molly, Molly, fish. Decisions, decisions. Head home. Oh, go check out our river. Might go for a good paddle up river. Follow the pelican. Molly's looking like, wait, that's where we're supposed to go. Where are you going? <laughs> it was nothing until I really bumped in with the um, paddle. It's okay, Molly. Just gonna go upstream for a little bit. He's like, why'd you stop? So after what feels like hours and hours heading up this river, I can still hear the construction works. I head a little bit further upstream. And, um, I just want to have a snoop, see if there's any good fish. I've seen a little fish. Um, 
it's got like a black tail so I don't know it was different from the other fish that I've seen so um, that's interesting I think Marlo's getting a bit bored he keeps like going and not off <laughs> Beautiful up here. It just gets prettier and prettier the further I go upstream. Oh no, Marlo's saying, let's turn around now. But it's so pretty out here. Molly, I think you might get your own way. It just looks like the end of the line for us. I have to come back another day once this has all started to break down. I wonder what happened. You still smell the eucalypt. It's super fresh. Oh well. Hey Molly. I'm burnt. You're tired. Oh, looks like there's a little island over there. That would have been so cool to check out. What do you think, Molly? I'll try to get past this stuff. Oh, this is so weird. <sighs> oh no, Molly. It's just a stick, it's okay. That's right, it's fresh. <laughs> I'm never going to be able to snap it. I lost the stick. See, it's okay. There we go. Ooh. That was fun.
Almost not my way. Roadblock probably number 38. It's rock piles, branches. Let's go check out this island, hey? That is probably the most eeriest sound. Pushing through all the leaves. Well, um, I've got to the little island. I might get off and, um, maybe, eh, I don't know. I'm actually super tired, so I'm gonna just turn around and, um, head home. This has been really, really pretty. I think Marlo's been enjoying it too. Every time we hit a roadblock and have to get out, he, he's super scared to jump out of the canoe, which is super cute. And then, and then it's like runs around and has a little sniff, and then and then jumps straight back into the canoe all on his own. It's super super cute. Oh, I'm gonna get a wheel on and turn around. <laughs> I am so burnt. I don't know if you can see that. I've actually never seen water plants in the wild before. They're so pretty. Mm, pretty plants. There's so many just here. I think the water used to be a fair bit higher along here. So many fish. Let's see. Well, there's a cow now, apparently. Here we go. You gonna do it for the camera, Molly? You gonna jump on? <laughs> there we go. He's a good boy. Hey, eh? he's such a good boy. It's too shallow for me over there. It'll just bank. Super shallow water. So this is what I've been doing for most of the roadblocks. This is what I've been doing for most of the roadblocks. Marley stays on. I get off and walk. This the water's so bloody shallow. <laughs> Poor Marley <laughs> fell in the water. <laughs> that was absolutely sopping wet. Oh, you look so upset, Marley. <laughs> mm. Oop, branch. <laughs> He's so cute.
<sighs> okay, so it's an absolute mission. I am probably not going to do that again anytime soon. <laughs> that was horrible, and I'm so burnt. <laughs> but, um, my hair's actually been good for once. I was going to do a hair tutorial tonight, but I don't know now. I think I will anyway. I need a shower, maybe probably an aloe vera bath. And, um, yeah. There we go. I got myself some aloe vera. Um, I'm gonna just have a bath with this because I am that burnt all over. But for the sake of um, educational purposes, I'll quickly cut some of this open so you just can see how you actually um, open up and use aloe vera. So I'm only gonna do a little bit so I like to cut the spikes off first because I always get spiked by them super super easy this shit's so easy to cut then depending on your skill level you can peel it back um, which saves waste or if you're like me and feeling ultra lazy right now this works better with a blunt knife because you don't cut through but you just kind of follow the skin as much as you can and then whoop, you have one side of aloe vera now what I like to do is use that straight away just wipe it on real good then as that starts to dry up see how you can see the flesh what you do you put little cuts in it which as you can see is reactivating the the goop inside then you can reapply and you keep doing that until the aloe vera you have is super dry and leathery and yuck. but what I'm gonna do is um chop this all up and put it in a bath and then just lay in some cold water because all of me is burnt. My belly, my chest, my legs, my feet, I'm pretty sure, my face, like every little centimetre of me is currently burnt. <laughs> so, um, yeah, thanks for watching and, um, I will be uploading a, um, Saying. So um thanks for watching and um yeah I hope it was a good video. I definitely enjoyed the day out considering I came back beaded and bruised and I ended up calling my roommate to come pick me up because I didn't want to walk all the way home. But <laughs> um I I am glad I did it. So yeah, next time I'm going to get like a little wheel um, thing to drag behind the um, canoe, like to put the canoe on so I don't have to carry it because um, carrying it was definitely not ideal and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to move my arms or shoulders for like weeks. <laughs> but um, all in all, it was good. Thanks for watching and um, I'll see you in my next video.